Morning everybody, it's Jeff from Milk Mountain Gear. A couple weeks ago my son killed his first wild turkey and uh, I got it right here. Um, normally I, I would just roast the whole bird and I wanted to do something special with this today and so I'm going to make a recipe using just the breast and uh, first thing of course I got to do is get the breast off this bird so I'll get started with that right now. So for the rest of this carcass, uh, I'm thinking about just roasting up the rest of the meat and removing the meat from the legs and the carcass. And uh, I think it's going to be turkey pie. So that'll be another recipe. Anyway, let's uh, get started with these breasts. So what we're left here now with is a couple of slabs of breast meat. And what I want to do before we marinate this is fork tenderize it a little bit. So I'm going to do that right now. So for the marinade, I'm going to use equal parts white wine and I'm using an oriental dressing. You could use Italian dressing. Um, I wanted a little bit more of the sweetness because this is going to be kind of a Cajun recipe. We're going to put a lot of Cajun spice in these breasts so um, I thought the sweet and the hot combo might work well together. Uh, I'm going to use about a cup of each so I'll go ahead and get the marinade together for you right now. So I would normally refrigerate this overnight or maybe eight hours, you know. Um, I'm going to use a vacuum sealer with these canisters. Uh, what that does is that vacuum just kind of just pulls that marinade through all that meat, increases the marinade time and the effectiveness of the marinade. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just pull all the air out of this canister and then stick it in the fridge for maybe four hours. So I got these breasts ready to roll. I'm going to stick these in the fridge and I'll be back in about four hours to finish this recipe. Okay, I'm back. 
Uh, we've got these fillets. I've taken the fillets and just kind of discarded the marinade and I dried these out a little bit with some paper towels and now I'm going to season this with some Creole seasoning. And the one I like and my son likes is called Slap Ya Mama. We're going to do these, uh, coat these and kind of dredge them a little bit. And then we're going to transfer them to a roasting uh, bag and into a roasting pan and uh, get them going. And this is actually a roasting bag that's designed to stuff the, to do the whole bird. This is actually a roasting bag for the entire bird. It's a little bit big. You can buy them smaller. I'm just going to use this anyway. Um, first thing you got to do is take a little flour and shake it around inside the bag to keep it from bursting. I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to go ahead now and transfer the breast fillets to the bag and then I'm going to layer them with bacon uh, before I seal them and put them in the oven. So before I put these breasts in the oven, I want to make a few slits in the bag just to keep it from blowing up. Um, so I'm going to do that now and pop her in the oven. I'm going to do this in our convection oven. You're going to want to do, if you're doing two breasts, about 350 for two hours. This is my guess. So I'm going to plan on that. So our uh, turkey breast is out of the oven now. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the bacon. I've got some green beans on the stove. I'm just going to uh, put that bacon in there with those. And uh, we're ready to eat. Well, I cut me a piece of this, so I've got to try it out. Mm, very good. You can get the afterburn from the Cajun spices, and it's nice and tender and sweet. So, um, give it a try. Enjoy this recipe, and uh, we'll see you next time.